Hey, uh, I've been making these videos and then watching them uh, for Bio 315, and uh, they're they're really bad for my sense of self worth. It's really not very nice to see myself on video, hear my own voice, and apparently I use the word okay. 50 million times every minute and that's frustrating. Also, I touch my nose a lot. Uh, I cough. I don't have coronavirus to my knowledge, but I lose my voice rather quickly. It's really, it's pretty depressing. Um, making these sacrifices for you though, um, you're welcome. Quick video about what to expect on the first day, which I'm recording this really late. Sorry, I do a lot of stuff and I um, what to expect on the first day of lab. It's a little bit different this year because of coronavirus and that kind of stuff. Try really hard not to say, okay? Try really hard. It's an exercise in verbal discipline. When you go to your lab section, your assigned time, and that would be probably the kind of last time you see all of those people at that same assigned lab section time. We actually have two rooms set aside for your preparations for lab. One is the room in which you'll do all of your Drosophila work and the TAs will orient you to that area and they'll give you the safety introduction and those kinds of things. Um, but the other is the prep room, the, the staging area where you'll put on your lab safety equipment. Don't forget, we expect you to bring a lab coat to lab. Normally, you don't need one because of the chemicals to which you'll be exposed. We're just trying, I mean, there's gonna be a reasonable density of people in the lab potentially, and we would just wanna minimize the potential exposure uh, to coronavirus. So, lab coat, gotta wear a lab coat. You supply the lab coat, we supply temporary mask, like a disposable mask, because our department chair, and I think this is really good, he doesn't want you to bring your sort of, you know, custom cloth mask and wear that into the labs, because if you happen to be working with chemicals and they get into the mask and stuff, we don't, we don't want you to take that away and have it be in your face all day. So you'll wear a disposable mask when you are in the lab, and we will provide those, and it's in the staging area that we'll show you where it is. It's right next door to the actual lab. And you'll go into the staging area with your lab coat on, and you got your backpack and stuff, and, and they've got it set up with arrows, and you go in one door and you go out the other door. And there's all sorts of stations set up that have a disposable mask, uh, eyewear, protective eyewear, and uh, gloves. So you go to the station. We've got X's all around the room where you can leave your backpack, and they're all separated by... An appropriate amount of space so you're not piling all your stuff in with other people's stuff and you'll go in you go to a spot that's free you're gonna put on your disposable mask put on your eyewear and you put on your gloves and then you're ready for lab you take whatever materials into the lab that you need and to write and if you have a laptop computer or tablet or something like that bring that it's nice for looking stuff up you go out the other door go into lab you do your thing with your Drosophila and your new best friend called Lab Partner that I just met. I don't think I've said okay yet this whole video. I'm doing pretty well. And then once you're done, you don't have to stay the whole time. You kind of get your orientation. You figure out what you're doing. You figure out where your stuff goes. You look up your stuff. You make your plan for your first couple of experiments. A lot of people do put in a couple of hours on that first day. Just getting a feel for what, you know, what's up with these flies, what do we got, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I see. Itchy throat. Then you're done. What we want you to do is then go out of the lab, go back into the staging area, and you're going to have an area where you can take your eyewear. It's reusable eyewear, but Gene will disinfect it, bleach it and stuff. So you put that in a, in a container. The gloves would go in the, the waste containers in there. Take off your lab coat. Off you go. You go about the rest of your day in a very safe, socially distanced, and masked manner. Um, okay? 
so that's what really you should expect on your first day of lab in terms of just kind of the procedure. And then you will, once that's done, um, it's very rare that we have more than five, six, seven, eight people in the lab at any one time because it's open 40 hours a week, five, day, or four, five days a week, right? So um, the TAs are there to answer questions. I'm going to try to come in to the extent that my schedule allows on during that first week just to meet people. I actually enjoy interacting with students, I, you know, just so you can kind of say hi and that kind of stuff. But uh, um, other than that, that's what your first day will look like. It's going to be fun. Don't forget your lab coat. Bye.